Hello and welcome to the 1 106th of the second photography podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Instagram. And I have resisted Instagram for so long. And I, I have come to the Instagram party very late. Other people have always said to me when I've done shoots with them or other stuff, oh, let me know your Instagram. And I've always said, I don't have an Instagram. And they've always been surprised by that. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, we'll share it on Instagram. We'll, I'll put some stuff on Instagram. I, like, I don't have an Instagram. And the reason I don't have an Instagram is I always felt it would get in the way. Not in getting the way of promoting myself. It's very good for that. Not in the way of getting known. As I see it, if you want to do something, you've got to do it properly. And Instagram has always felt to me like I'd need to do it properly. So I'd need to be consistent on Instagram. And at the moment, I've got two other things well, maybe three other things that I need to be consistent with. I've got my day job, which takes a lot of work and effort. I've got a YouTube channel and I've got this podcast and I try and be consistent where I can with those. My day job is obviously the most important. It brings in the money. Podcast, I've now stepped up and I do weekly. YouTube, I'm not consistent on YouTube, but I know that does matter. But mm, yeah, I, I probably do three or four videos a month, but I'm not consistent when I put them out. And maybe I would do better on YouTube if I were consistent. But to become consistent would take me an awful lot of effort and I'd have to sideline other things and I just don't have time. So I've never wanted another thing that I need to be consistent at. And Instagram was, I always thought, well, I'd have to be consistent. I have to be putting something out every day, putting out varied stuff. What niche would I do? Would I do one for the podcast? Would I do one for my YouTube channel? I always had more questions and question marks over it and it just put me off doing it. And in the end, I decided, you know what, I'll do it. And I decided my niche on Instagram will be street photography so I set up a street photography Instagram and I put some pictures on and I started a post every day and they were only street images they weren't the best street photography images on Instagram but they were just what Instagram was meant for they weren't highly polished street photography images they were images I took with one of my street photography cameras and I would do a very quick edit on my phone. I'd maybe do a bit of cropping, put it in black and white, change the colours maybe. I wouldn't do a great deal of editing. To me, the idea of Instagram is it's instant. It's what you're doing. It's what you've done. You've just done it. Oh, look at me. I'm here. I'm doing this shoot. This is what it looks like. Not. It's not your portfolio, or I believe it's not your portfolio. It's just a, an account you put stuff in. I guess some people say I'm wrong. I guess some people say it is your portfolio. It's the one that gets the most looks. It's the one people look at the most. It's the one that can bring you biggest things. But I'm not looking to do it to become an overnight sensation. I'm not looking to do it to change my job. I don't know why I'm doing it really and I'm probably doing it because I feel a bit left out. I'm probably doing it because everyone else is doing it. It doesn't bring me money, it doesn't bring me fame, it doesn't bring me anything and I don't want those things from it to be honest. And I suppose I've done it because I wasn't doing it, which I, maybe isn't a good enough reason to do something because everyone else is doing it and because you're not. Maybe that's not the best reason to do something, but there we are. So I would make sure I posted once in the day and I posted in the morning while I was having my breakfast. I would import a lot of photos into my iPad from my shoots and I'd do some very quick edits and I'd upload it to Instagram. I generally do that on my phone so I'd airdrop it to my phone. I didn't want to take up all the storage in my phone so I did it on my iPad, airdrop it to my phone, upload it to Instagram and I was starting to do very well. I have done to date 45 posts i don't know how many likes i've got because it doesn't tell you that but i've got 85 followers and i'm quite happy with that so things were going quite well an image a day getting up to 85 followers getting quite a lot of likes on the images and then we hit the pandemic lockdown and so oh, what do i do i'm i'm not going to go out in the lockdown to get street photography images if i happened to be out if i was going somewhere if i was on my commute if i was out and about before the pandemic i'd take my camera with me and there were times when at eight o'clock in the morning i'd take an image and that would end up on instagram there were also times when i went out specifically for doing street photography for instagram and this is what i was talking about at the start of the show i didn't want to commit to it but once i did commit to it i was doing things for instagram that was my motivation to go out and take images to build up a stock of images that i could put on instagram there's nothing wrong with that but that's what i was doing so i'd go out in my rico gr and i'd take take a lot of images 
pictures and then when I get home I'd edit some of them and get them ready for Instagram like an Instagram production factory really like I say then the lockdown happened so started posting some older ones you know that weren't that fresh so in those times I'd gone out and taken some images for Instagram I started to post some of those but pretty soon I was going to run out of those images so I didn't really know what to do so I thought I can't really leave the house I don't want to be seen to be going out and taking pictures I, that's not in the spirit of things there won't be anyone around anywhere I don't want to get close to people so I wasn't taking images and I thought oh, maybe I can recreate some street photography at home by using my children's toys so I think I did one of those images and then I thought you know what to get a good image it would just take so long to set that up I need to create a background I'd need to position lights to give us sort of a, a silhouette or an area of light and dark and I thought I could do it and it would probably be quite fun but it would take a lot of time and I'm still working and I've still got other things to do I don't want to spend an hour building a picture just for Instagram so in the end I stopped posting on Instagram Because I found it quite depressing that I was either posting about the pandemic or posting before the pandemic. Because what I would do, I I walked somewhere to get something and the shops were closed. And I walked past this closed shop and it had its barrier down and it had a, a mannequin sort of in the window. And it had a little note about the pandemic and COVID-19 we're shut due to the pandemic so I took a picture of that so I thought you can see it says about the pandemic it looks like you've got this person behind a barrier it was quite a good image so yeah I took it I cropped it I put it in black and white I posted on Instagram and I put you know labeled it hashtag pandemic explain what it was and other images I've been truthful if they're taken before the lockdown I put pre-lockdown I've mainly put in hashtags for the camera so if it's taken on the Rico GR it's hashtag Rico GR3 it's taken on iPhone hashtag shot on iPhone things like that but then I I just found I was either putting this image sums up the pandemic or this image where there's lots of people walking about was taken before the pandemic because to not say that would make things look false like oh I've been out I've taken this picture look at everyone enjoying themselves out in the sun eating an ice cream Uh, yeah that's not now that was before the pandemic so it it didn't quite depress me I just thought I, I need to stop this it's just reinforcing the fact I'm stuck indoors would anyone benefit from this and the answer is I couldn't see that anyone would benefit from it I couldn't see I would benefit from it I thought it'd probably make me a little bit depressed so I stopped doing it I've got an app that you can do various like picture posts on you can write things you can get images all royalty free you know I'm not violating anyone's copyright by putting these things up I think it's called Typerama I did an Instagram post in there and it basically said for want of a better term I'm stopping Instagram for now. I don't think my 85 followers are going to be in tears. I don't think they're going to be too bothered. But for now, I'm stopping just because it feels like the right thing to do. No one wants to be reminded of what it used to be like. No one wants to be reminded of what it's currently like. And I can't create anything that's vastly different and stimulating stuck in the house. So I'm not doing it. My niche is street photography. I don't want to switch over to macro. I don't want to be creating street photography with Barbie dolls. I just don't have the time for that. So I've stopped it, which is a real shame. Once things go back to normal, I'll start up again. I'll be out doing photography and I'll be sharing that photography with people who are interested and I'll be back on Instagram and I like Instagram I like looking at other people's images I like what's suggested to me weirdly I like the adverts because I always find they're things I'm interested in it does a very good job of recommending things to me and I guess the more adverts I click on the better it gets at suggesting things for me I like looking at people's Instagram stories I don't think people generally do Instagram stories very well but I like to look at them anyway and see what people are up to and I like to post and I like the validation it gives me I like it when I post a really good image and I get lots of likes and then my followers go up and I've got targets with Instagram I want to get to 100 I want to get you know so on and so forth but at the moment just needs to take a break with Instagram until things are back to normal I think let me know if you think I'm wrong let me know if you disagree if you are still posting on Instagram and and think there's an appetite in the market for it do drop me a line and do let me know but thanks so much for listening to the show this week and don't forget to leave a review on itunes because i'd really appreciate that it would help the show out tremendously thank you goodbye